Working in the SOC versus working in GRC, which one actually pays more? In the SOC, analysts monitor threats, respond to incidents, and do a lot of the technical work in security operations. And for doing that, the average salary in the United States is around $90,000 to $100,000 per year. And with bonuses and experience, analysts can cross $130,000 a year or more. The SOC is fast-paced, technical, and if you enjoy being on the front lines of cybersecurity, it might be for you. Governance, Risk, and Compliance, or GRC, is more about policy, frameworks, and making sure that organizations manage risk and stay compliant. The average salary in the United States is around $95,000 to $115,000 per year, which is really similar to the SOC. But as you move up, more experienced GRC professionals can make $150,000, $180,000, or even $200,000 or more, depending on the industry. Why? Well, that's a bit of a rabbit hole, but at a high level, compliance and risk strategy is closer to the business, and so companies are more willing to pay more for that expertise. Also, keep in mind that being a SOC analyst is just one technical role within cybersecurity, while working in GRC can mean many different things and applies to several different roles. So there's more variance in the salaries you could achieve. These are also averages, so your mileage may vary depending on where you work in the country, how much experience you have, and the industry you're trying to apply to. So in the short term, SOC and GRC salaries are pretty similar, but in the long term, GRC roles tend to pull ahead. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments and follow for more about cybersecurity.